I'll just start off with introducing myself because it's actually quite, quite uh, important in writing this paper is about what my experience is, about who I was coming through, working with people with learning disabilities, and trying to bring them all together. Not just my own experience, I suppose, but experiences of other people who I've worked with, uh, reading about in, uh, intellectual disability, reading about intensive interaction. Uh, and I'm now the project leader for Leeds uh, Partnerships NHS Foundation Trust. Uh, previous to that, I was a teacher. If you go back far enough, I used to be, uh, I started as actually a volunteer up at a large residential hospital. In Leeds, we had one that had 500 people with a mental handicap, it was called, and the place was called Newell Park Hospital. Previous to that, it was called a colony, and it was outside the, the, the city boundaries, and people were kept safe. <coughs> right, there is a, a, a volunteer, uh, was offered a job uh, quite quickly, because they were quite short staffed, uh, ended up as a care assistant, or a nursing assistant, and did that for six years. And I worked with some of the people in those days as a carer that later on I became a teacher for, uh, and later on I did intensive interaction with. And it's sort of quite a long, uh, long story. And so I tried to sort of bring this together in this paper. Uh, when I first started being a teacher, I was a, a primary school teacher, and then I started teaching people with uh, severe learning disabilities and profound and multiple learning disabilities. And I think there's a sort of, I've heard this a few times about. Uh, people feeling they did things in a way that they wouldn't do them now, and feeling a little bit guilty. I mean, I, I think when I was starting to be a teacher for people with severe learning disabilities, I was a pretty poor teacher. To be honest, I think I was strong than that. I was, I was <coughs> shockingly bad. <laughs> Nothing was learned, I don't think, in my sessions, apart from perhaps the compliance with the session. Uh, that was the main learning outcome. Not something I'm proud of, but. But part and parcel of the sort of coming to where I am now was going through that process. We did a thing in Leeds, and there's probably very few people who know about it now, there's probably nobody here, called the Walden Approach, which was based on a very sort of uh, early um, constructivist view, based on a lot of Piaget stuff, <coughs> getting people to move in certain areas as if they were, were uh, very young infants, but actually forcing them, possibly against the will. And I did that. You know, I, and the, it was, I don't know how I thought about it. This morning I thought, can I somehow get into this talk, the idea of all of us having skeletons in the cupboard? And you know what I did? I opened this up, and guess what's in it? <laughs> <laughs> and I think some of us have these sort of educational <laughs> skeletons in the cupboard. And sometimes perhaps we, we're a bit, we're a bit, I don't know. Uh, we don't talk about them, but, but that's where we come from. We've got a history. Uh, and I gradually came to uh, use more and more interactive means, and I eventually started doing a uh, a master's degree with the Open University in Education. And in one of the books, one of the readers, there was a chapter by Nind and Hewitt, or Hewitt and Nind, whichever way around it was, that talked about intensive interaction. And it was one of those kind of ping moments. Because that seemed radically different to the stuff I was doing. And the stuff I was doing was failing. As soon as the learner came in the room, they kind of sort of brought this baggage of failure with them. And we all felt it, teachers, everybody, that this session had to be got through rather than enjoyed. And I think intensive interaction does something different. Uh, and that thing that uh, uh, the court that Cass talked about, talking about thing, doing things that were stupid, disrespectful, uh, inhumane and ineffective, I think perhaps some of us who are older uh, have done those things. And, and hopefully we've moved on, we've learned from them and moved on. Uh, and uh, anyway, intensive interaction is, 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 uh, is part of it.